Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an MLDB plugin that does real-time digit recognition. I think that this is a really interesting plugin because we'll see how the some of the classical machine learning models that we've chosen here behave on a well-understood and simple computer vision data set. We also see visually how the models make their prediction decision with something that we call the explain matrix and it's the red and green dots that we see here. The third and most important reason is that this example is an easy to create machine learning web app that uses MLDB functionality and runs entirely on MLDB. We're able to create such an app using MLDB's REST interface. Right now, it is doing real-time predictions by making AJAX calls to MLDB. For example, if I draw a 1, and if I center it and normalize the drawing, it knows that I drew a 1. All right, before I start clicking everywhere, I wanted to give you a little bit more background. We have pre-trained four models that we see in the drop-down menu here. I'm going to use a random forest because it was the one that gave us the best accuracy on the train sets uh, and on the test set. These models have been trained uh, using MNIST data and MNIST is a, a database that contains pictures of digits such as the ones that you see here. And here the ones that you see are test data so they weren't you know, part of the model training. So we're not cheating in any way. <laughs> so if you put a two here, let's see what it does. Oh, I think 60% chance that it's a two and 31 or 34% chance that it's a six. All right, so if I choose another one, a nine, it says 98% chance that it's uh, a nine. So this is good. We can actually retrieve more MNIST images. We can choose, uh, you know, for example, four, and it says, oh, this is a four at 88% chance. Let's try a one. It's almost a hundred percent sure that that it's a one. Okay, so I'm just going to draw here. I'm just going to draw a one in the corner, and here it doesn't really recognize it's a one. It thinks more that it's a seven. And the reason for that is that if you look at the MNIST data, it's all well centered and resized, and here we have it in the corner. So in order to kind of mimic the real world to look like your train set we have this little functionality here that resizes and recenters. So there it's almost 100% sure that it's a one. So this is good. Let's see if we draw a seven, it's almost 100% sure that it's a seven. So far it has worked, I'm happy, yay. <laughs> We're gonna show you now what all these red and green dots are because it's probably caught your eye. It's um, you know very colorful on this page. What the explain matrix does is that it's going to look at all of the, pic the pixels that contributed to um, the model's creation, so the model predictions. And it's going to tell you whether the pixel contributes, the pixel and its value contribute negatively towards the final prediction or positively. So the negative will be the red and the positive will be the green. So if, if you'll notice, the explain matrix for the digit um, that has the most green, so here it's actually seven, uh, it is where the model thinks that you know it should be that digit. So that's why we're seeing almost 100% here for seven, because there's so much green here. Uh, in the other pictures, we're not seeing that much green. We're seeing a lot more red. So there's a lot more pixels that the model does not like, and that's why it's not giving us any sort of probability that's the other numbers. Let's say now that we wanted to transform our 7 to a 9. So let's see if I went like this. It's And if we look, let's look at this explain matrix here. Um, the stuff that I drew here doesn't like it. You see it's, it's red. So whenever you see red to make it that prediction, you have to do the reverse. So for example, here, if I want to make the prediction better, I should erase what I've drawn. So let's see if I erase it, see it, it, it takes the red away. So now I'm going to just redraw it to try to see if I can get that nine. So let's look at the nine here. So what I've drawn here is green, which is good. That means that it's liking what I've drawn. And here I'm drawing a little bit more and I'm going really slowly. 
and it's liking what I've drawn. So it's all green here, and that's why I'm getting uh, you know, almost 100%, 98% that it's a nine. So I think I'll just draw another digit, and I think the most fun is a zero. So we'll just see, it. I'll just draw it very slowly and see what it does. So you see it's kind of like going through all the possibilities. Oh, it's thinking that it's a six, which makes sense. It's looking like a six right now. Let's see if I finish that circle, what's going to happen. And if you look at the explain matrix here, you know, there's still a lot of stuff missing, but it's already starting to say, oh, it's more of a zero. Okay, so let's see if I finish it. Boom, okay, that's almost 100%. If you want to check out how the models were trained, how we went about you know, creating this demo, uh, you can actually check out the real-time hand, handwritten digits recognizer demo on the MLDB website. And it shows you how we uh, transformed the data, got the data, uh, trained the model. That's the confusion matrix here. Um, and and it just it's an inter interactive tool for you to play with and, and kind of understand a little bit deeper the models that we're using. All right, guys, this is the end of our demo. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in checking out more demos, please go to mldb.ai. Within five minutes, you can launch your own free hosted instance of MLDB and start playing around with your own plugins.